As the weather begins to warm, many are beginning the process of spring cleaning, leaving many with unwanted items. Residents in downtown Pikeville are looking to resolve that issue by hosting its first community yard sale April 12th and 13th. So this weekend we're hoping to just get everybody that lives in downtown or even the downtown area to anyone that has the space and that has the permission to use the space to host a yard sale to kind of bring the community, community together. Especially because Pike County is so large, it's hard to bring people in for just one yard sale or you know two yard sales. Because people sometimes have to drive 30 and 40 minutes away. So when we can get a group, I think the last time I checked on my spreadsheet we had 14, you know, that's quite a few that people can come and visit all within you know a couple miles of each other. So. It doesn't seem like a lot, but if you stop and look at every yard sale for a couple minutes, that's going to take two, three hours. So I just feel like it's a lot easier to have a turnout when we can promise multiple stops. Outpatient medication assisted treatment for addiction, adult and youth behavioral counseling, and now psychiatric services. Accepting Medicare and all major insurance. Recovery is hard. Regret is harder. Appalachian Community Care, LLC, in Pikeville and Whitesburg. Call 606-432-5660. Find us on Facebook. In addition to bringing the community together, Hunley hopes hosting community yard sales will also bring attention to local businesses. You know, you get multiple yard sales, you're going to have people spending more time downtown. So not only are hopefully neighbors going to be visiting each other's yard sales and kind of getting out in the community and talking to one another, but hopefully those people that are coming kind of outside of the county, they'll stop and eat, you know, maybe get a burger at Joyce's or run in app cycled and shop there and kind of just have more to do downtown. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.